Thanks, Shay. The Canadian Screen Awards boasted lots of nominees this year with many deserving stars. Host Norm Macdonald proposed the award night be called The Candies. The name caught on with many presenters and award winners over the evening. The term candy tributes the Canadian comedian John Candy, who died in 1994. Comic actress Catherine O'Hara said that it will be hard to turn back from the nickname for next year's award ceremony. The big shocker of the night includes nine-year-old Jacob Tremblay winning Best Actor in a leading role for the movie Room. He was shocked to have won over 86-year-old Oscar winner Christopher Plummer. Room, which first premiered at TIFF, dominated the night with nine awards, including Best Film and Best Director for Lanny Abrahamson. CBC sitcomedy Schitt's Creek won nine awards in the TV show categories, including Best TV Comedy. Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara both won leading star awards for the show. Ari Millen and Tatiana Maslany won Best Actor and Actress in TV show Orphan Black. And finally, CBC's Book of Negroes took home Best TV Movie. Toronto Fashion Week kicks off today in David Pico Square with Mikhail Kale at 6 p.m. Some notable designers for the week will include Bustle, David Dixon, Rudsack, and Farley Chatto. Tickets can cost anywhere between $45 and $800, depending on the designer and location of the seats. Skedline reporter Emily Bongelli will be attending the Narciss and Christopher Pinnell shows tonight, so be sure to check Skedline.com for updates. U.S. President Barack Obama's daughters were all smiles when they got to meet Ryan Reynolds at the state dinner for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Malia and Sasha Obama got to rub shoulders with Reynolds and talk with him about his latest movie, Deadpool. Malia and Obama can be seen giving the thumbs up to her sister in a photo captured by official White House photographer Pete Souza. The Deadpool star got to speak with Trudeau. He said through his Twitter feed that he joked with Trudeau about his plans to take Alaska. Pop icon Madonna broke down on stage at her most recent concert in Melbourne, Australia. The 57-year-old singer emotionally condemned her ex-husband, Guy Ritchie, regarding the custody battle between their 15-year-old son, Rocco. She swigged a fan's flask of alcohol and revealed her state of being sexually lonely and later asked, who is going to take care of me? Ritchie and Madonna divorced in 2008 and agreed that Rocco would live with his mother. However, he has been living with Ritchie in London since December. Disney's latest animation, Zootopia, topped the box office again this weekend with $50 million in its second frame. That means that Zootopia has passed Big Hero 6 as the highest grossing animated Disney film of all time. Some other major releases makes for a big box office weekend. The thriller 10 Cloverfield Lane brought in $25 million, paying back its budget in just one weekend. Deadpool grossed almost $11 million this weekend to reach a total of $328 million. London Has Fallen and Whiskey Tango Foxtrot filled the fourth and fifth spots. There's your entertainment headlines for today. Now back to the studio.